Welcome back ladies and gents. In this YouTube video, I'll be looking at 2.1 measures of central tendency. 2.1 represents chapter 2, section 1 of the Pearson A-Level Master Applied Master Year 1 textbook. Let's go through the key facts of this section. Firstly, a measure of location is a single value which describes a position in a data set. If the single value describes the center of the data, it is called the measure of central tendency, hence the word central. There are three measures of central tendency, and these are number one, the mean, number two, the median, and number three, the mode. Now, the median is denoted by Q2. The median is also called the second quartile. To calculate Q2, we take N and we divide by 2, TH value. Median represents the position within the data set, hence TH value. Now, when you calculate this and your answer is a decimal number, you must round up. If your answer is a whole number, you take an average. Ladies and gents, we know that n represents the sample size. Suppose we have a data set, x1, x2 and so on, up until xn. The mean of this data set is denoted by x bar. We call this x bar. There are two different types of data sets. We've got raw data and we've got frequency table data. Now, raw data is data that has not been represented in a frequency table and uh, frequency table data is data set that has been represented in a frequency table. So to calculate the x bar, the mean, from a raw data, we use this formula over here. Sum of x, x represents your data values, divide by n, the sample size. To calculate x bar, the mean, from a frequency table data set, we use this formula. So we have sum of fx divided by sum of f. F represents your frequency and ladies and gents if you look at the denominator sum of F is total frequency we know that the total frequency is n the sample size so these are the key facts of 2.1 measures of central tendency we're going to be applying these key facts to exam style questions here is exam style question one the masses in grams of nine pieces of cheese are 550 450 300 400 450 500 450, 300, and 600. Calculate part A, the mode, part B, the mean, and part C, the median. Let's start off with the mode. So the mode is the most popular value. We can see that the most popular value is 450. So the mode is 450 grams. Let's have a look at part B. Okay, uh, let's denote the mean by X bar. Okay, so we have X bar. Right, to work out the mean from raw data, data that has not been represented in a frequency table, we have to apply this particular formula. So we have sum of X over N. Okay, so X bar is equal to, we add up our data values. So we've got 550 plus 450 plus 300 plus 400, plus 450, plus 500, plus 450, plus 300, plus 600. And we divide by the sample size. So we're looking at nine pieces of cheese. All right, so if I put the numerator into my calculator, I end up with 4,000. So I've got 4,000 divided by nine. Now in stats and mechanics, we usually round to three significant figures. So if I put this into my calculator to three significant figures, I get 444 grams, 3SF. Okay, let's have a look at part C. Now in part C, we would like to calculate the median of the data set. The median is denoted by Q2. We also call the median the second quartile. Now to calculate the median, we have to apply the formula N over two. Okay, so n is your sample size, which is 9. So we have q2 is equal 9 over 2, hence q2 is equal 4.5. Ladies and gents, remember, if you have a decimal number, you must round up. So we're going to round up, and we get that q2 will therefore be the fifth value in the data set. So now we're going to take the data set, and we're going to put it in ascending order. And there you have it. Okay, so we've got 
1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 data values in ascending order. So now we want to take the fifth value. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. The fifth value is 450. Okay, so we have that the median Q2 is equal to 450 grams. And that there, ladies and gents, completes exam style question 1. Here is exam style question 2. The table shows the frequency distribution for the number of eggs in the nest of a group of blackbirds. Here is the frequency table. So we have number of eggs and we have frequency. 2 eggs has frequency 6, 3 eggs has frequency 11, 4 eggs has frequency 13, 5 eggs has frequency 7, and 6 eggs has frequency 2. Find part A the mode, part B the mean, and part C the median. Let's start off with the mode. So by definition, the mode is the data value with the highest frequency. So the data value with the highest frequency is 4 eggs. 4 eggs has a frequency of 30. So the mode is equal to 4 eggs. Part B, we want to calculate the mean. Suppose the mean is denoted by x bar. So x bar, the mean number of eggs is calculated using this formula over here. We have a frequency table data. So x bar is equal sum of fx divided by sum of f. Now shortly I'm going to be showing you how to use your class with calculator to generate a frequency table and then calculate the mean. But before I do this, a quick reminder. In your class with calculator, sum of fx is represented by sum of x and sum of f is represented by n. Okay, so to generate the frequency table, we press menu and we go to statistics number six. And then after that, we press one variable and we get a table like this with one column, which is the X column, the data column. Now we want to turn on the frequency. To do this, we press shift and the menu and then we scroll down to number three, statistics. Frequency question mark, we want to turn it on. So we press number one. Okay, so I've got the data column and I've got the frequency column. Now, my data column is the number of eggs, so I can input my data. I've got two equal, three equal, four equal, five equal, six equal. Then I press right and I go to the frequency column and my next step is to input the frequencies. So I've got six equal, 11 equal, 13 equal 7 equal and 2 equal. Once I've done that, I press option OPTN. And then after that, we need to press number 3, one variable calculation. And there you have it, ladies and gents. As you can see over here, we've got the sum of x, which is 144. And if I scroll down, the n is 39. If I scroll back up, I also have x bar, which is 3.692307692. Also, if we scroll down over here, we can see that the med, which is your Q2, is equal to 4. Okay, so using the class with calculator, we have sum of x is equal 144, and we have n is equal to 39. Hence, x bar, the mean, is equal to 100 and 44 divided by 39. If we put this into our calculator, we get 3.69 to three significant figures. So that's 3.69x, 3SF. Now 3.69 is not a sensible answer because you can't have 3.69x. A sensible answer would be 4x. Okay, let's move on to part C. Now part C, we want to calculate the median presented by Q2. Okay, now Q2 in your class with calculator technically represents med, shorthand for median. Okay, so from the class with calculator, we have that the med is just 4. So the median Q2 is equal to 4 eggs. And that there, ladies and gents, completes exam style question 2. Here is exam style question 3. The table shows the times taken by a group of students to walk to school. So this is the table. We've got time, T measured in minutes, and we've got frequency. 
This class interval is t is between 10 and 15, including 10, has a frequency of 5. This class interval is t is between 15 and 20, including 15, has a frequency of 14, and so on. In part A, we want to write down the modal class, and in part B, we want to calculate an estimate for the mean time taken to walk to school. Now, over here, ladies and gents, we have group data. Group data is continuous, and we also know that time is continuous. Anyways, let's have a look at part A. We want to write down the modal class. In other words, the class interval with the highest frequency. So the class interval with the highest frequency is this class interval here. It has a frequency of 14. So in part A, our answer is t is between 15 and 20. 15 is included. Part B, we want to calculate an estimate for the mean time taken to walk to school. So shortly, I'm going to be showing you how to generate a frequency table using your class width calculator in order to estimate the mean. But let's uh, get the method marks first. We need to write down the formula. Now over here, the time is denoted by t. So the mean time should be denoted by t bar. So we're going to calculate the mean time using this formula over here because we have frequency table data. We need to be consistent with our notation. So t bar is equal to sum of ft divided by sum of f. Now sum of ft in our class with calculator is represented by sum of x and sum of f in our class with calculator is represented by n. Ladies and gents, over here we have group data. So for each class interval, we must take the midpoint as a representation of that class interval. So for the first class interval, we've got 12.5. For the second class interval, we've got 17.5. For the third class interval, we've got 22.5. And for the fourth class interval, we've got 27.5. Now I'm going to generate a frequency table. So I press menu, and then I scroll down to number six, statistics. And then we press number one, variable. Now we've got one column, which is the X column, the data column. In this case, it is the time column. We want to turn on the frequency. To do this, we press shift and then menu. We scroll down to statistics, which is number three. To turn on the frequency, we must press one. There you have it. So we've got the frequency turned on. Now the X column is the time column. So the first time is 12.5 equal. Second time is 17.5 equal. Um, third time is 22.5 equal and the fourth time is 27.5 equal okay so now we can press right and go on to the frequency column we input the frequencies so the first frequency is 5 second frequency is 14 third frequency is 7 and the fourth frequency is 2 okay so we press option after this, we press number three, one variable calculation. And there you have it. Our sum of X is 520. Our N is 28. Our X bar, the mean time is 18.57142857. Okay, so using our class with calculator, we get that sum of X is represented by 520 and N is represented by 28. So T bar, the mean time taken is equal to 520 divided by 28. Right, so T bar to three significant figures will be 18.6. Okay, we're looking at minutes to free SF. And that day, ladies and gents, completes exam style question three and this teaching video 2.1 measures of central tendency. If you found this video useful, please don't forget to subscribe, leave a like, leave a comment, turn on your notification bell so that you receive notifications every time I post a teaching video.